We have upwards of 35,000 cranes that show up each spring. This is Washington's only crane festival. This is amazing. Seeing lots of birds in a more rural landscape, I, I think that's what a lot of people enjoy doing. Getting away from the big city, coming out into the country, and seeing what the wildlife is like out here. Each spring, the farming community of Othello, Washington, celebrates the arrival of Sandhill Cranes with a three-day wing ding. Since 1998, this festival of feathers has been flying at the end of March during the peak of spring migration. The Othello Sandhill Crane Festival is a community festival that brings people from all over. It's quite common for people who attend the festival to see flocks of two to 3,000 birds out in a field. Located on the Pacific Flyway, Othello is a major stopover for Sandhill Cranes, migrating between wintering grounds in Central California and nesting grounds in Southern Alaska. The Sandhill Crane Festival was established because uh, there was a demand for seeing cranes uh, by some of the people that knew they were in the area, but they weren't able to find them. So we set this up so that we could actually scout ahead of time, find out what fields they were using, and then uh, take people right to them. Visitors to the Crane Festival are, are going to see not only Sandhill Cranes, but also probably burrowing owls, uh, long-billed curlews, uh, a number of uh, spring migrants that are just starting to show up uh, coming through the Columbia Basin. We expect to see a good diversity of both uh, wildlife and habitats, as well as geology. I mean, we're in uh, some of the best areas to see the Missoula floods and evidence of the Missoula floods. There's uh, certainly lots of things to see. In 1952, the Columbia Basin Irrigation Project began providing water to farms in this region. Today, with an abundance of wetlands and crops, migratory birds find the Columbia Basin a perfect pit stop. It's the combination of the food supply and the wetlands that they have available to them, all of which are created as byproducts of the Columbia Basin uh, Irrigation Project, the irrigated farming that goes with it, and the Columbia National Wildlife Refuge, which has been developed for waterfowl habitat. It all works together using the water, the land, and the farming activities. It creates a food supply and also habitat areas for the birds to hang out in and nest in. The Othello Sandhill Crane Festival features field trips for viewing cranes and specialty tours of the Columbia National Wildlife Refuge. When we do a crane festival tour, we take an ag guide and a birding guide. So you have the best of both worlds telling you about the local area, what crops are grown here, and then someone to actually explain about the birds and their habits. So you gain so much more knowledge that way than just driving out and seeing cranes. The mission of this event is to educate people about wildlife in general, about the migration of the cranes, as well as how agriculture works together with the wildlife in this area. I think one of the positive things for agriculture is that we've given people the insight to what we do here. We take good care of the land, uh, try to be good stewards because we don't want to, if we hurt the land then it comes back to hurt us as agriculture people. I think that's one of the benefits of this crane festival is that people come here and learn about farmers and about the agriculture uh, aspect of life because that's where they get their food. It is a festival that has spread its wings to provide an important economic boost to the community. And like the Sandhill Cranes, Othello hopes visitors will continue to flock here. We know that we do not have the facilities to have this event grow in such a small community, but we do want to make sure that it is the most premier event in the state. The views are beautiful, and especially at the night when they start taking off. There's nothing like having a crane that's three and a half feet long and weighs about 10 to 15 pounds flying 20 or 30 feet over your head.
If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.